Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to a project that is going to be getting involved with one of the projects in the Cosmos ecosystem. Apollo have produced the ultimate hardware wallet for your cryptocurrency assets, probably the most secure hardware wallet going. Use my affiliate link and the code for a discount. Hey, Alexander, thank you so much for making yourself available. Yeah, hi. Thank you so much for inviting me. You are so, so welcome. Now, you are the CEO co-founder, founder, something of solarlabs.ee. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. We are the, one of the companies which are a core developers of uh, Sentinel blockchain project. Oh, you're a core developer for Sentinel? Yeah, um, Solar Labs is one of the companies who are core developers of Sentinel. Okay, okay. So, so, so what did... Let me pause for a second again. So, do you know what? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cut this bit out. Mm -hmm. Maybe I won't. See, I thought Solar Labs was this non-blockchain company that was now getting involved with a blockchain company. I didn't know that you were core developers. So, so just so, what does that mean, being a core developer? Uh, so, um, back in times when I was running my previous company called V Security, we used to be just a regular VPN company, and uh, we had our customers, and it was pretty much the same model as NordVPN or. Express VPN on any other centralized VPN service. And uh, back in those times, I got in touch with the Sentinel team because I found their project really interesting. And we started discussing integrating the Sentinel blockchain into our ecosystem. And uh, then I realized that the potential and uh, the this uh, potential growth that uh, might be uh, happening because of integrating of those uh, solutions that Sentinel provides uh, might be huge. Uh, I decided to start a whole new company, uh, which will focus on developing decentralized VPN uh, mobile apps uh, only. And uh, it happened that we started just as a, one other company, which trying to make something based on the VPN that uh, Sentinel provides, but. Uh, we cooperated with the Sentinel Foundation and Exidio, who the un another company who are also core developer of Sentinel. We cooperated with them that much that it resulted uh, in a thing that we became developers for Sentinel ourselves. So uh, now the main application of Sentinel that they that Sentinel branded apps, uh, those are developed by Solar Labs as well, and uh, we continue th this development with uh, our own apps based on uh, Sentinel blockchain, and we are really looking forward to get them live on Google Play and App Store already this spring. Oh wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay. Now, so now you started with a VPN company. Is that VPN company still going? Uh, unfortunately, now nah. we shut it down completely at the beginning of uh, at the beginning of twenty twenty one. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll just uh, uh, go a little bit back in history. So uh, initially I came from Russia uh, uh, and uh, then moved to Estonia. In Russia in 2018, we had a problem that uh, that the Russian government trying to ban uh, Telegram uh, for Russian citizens because of freedom of speech there and all the stuff. I didn't like that so much. So uh, what we came up with is uh, we spinned up a lot of proxy servers to help people in Russia access Telegram. Uh, freely in at the moment of maybe may of 2018 probably almost each russian who used telegram was using it through our proxy network wow. and uh yeah what we what we did is uh we basically made uh this as a game cat and mouse uh and uh we were the mouse who were never catched uh by the government so uh, eventually government gave up on uh, on their attempts to ban telegram and the need for the proxy network vanished so we decided to go further and launch a vpn service like full featured vpn service which will allow people to access uh blocked uh internet resources freely not only telegram but some media some uh, opposition websites and many others and uh 
we were running this uh, VPN company for a while, and then I realized that there is a uh, next step that we should take is uh, uh, go to direction of Web 3.0, and uh, DVPN is the is the thing. Yeah, because if you take a look at the moment, what's happening now there, like not only in Russia, it's also China and many other countries. Uh, government is not going after those websites who uh, offer some information that they do not like. Now they are going after VPN services themselves, and mm -hmm. for example. Uh, there was uh, some VPN service by Avast, and there was some VPN service uh, Hide My Ass, I believe. Yeah, uh, those VPN services are banned in Russia. And well, since they are not decentralized and using old school model, uh, they are just un uh, not accessible in Russia. So their customers are not even able to use their service that they paid right. for. Paid for. Now I've noticed that I use NordVPN on my desktop. I'm waiting for the Sentinel. DVPN desktop version to come out. And I noticed there are no servers in Russia for NordVPN. I can, you know, switch to the US or the UK or here and there, but not Russia. Yeah, there, think, it's, it's for a reason. Yeah. Yes. I, but I think that highlights one of the problems with centralized VPNs. And I just want to say that, you know, <clears throat> you should, people should use a, a VPN or a DVPN. Use a DVPN on Android because that's currently available, but otherwise use a VPN. And what a VPN does is it encrypts the traffic that goes in and out of your device. So you can't be spied on. And it allows you to access websites that perhaps in your jurisdiction, the governments don't want you to access for whatever reason. So because one of the things about freedom of speech and freedom of expression, it's not just important for those that express their ideas. But it's also important for the listener. Because you might say some, you might impart some information that could be really, really useful for me as a listener, as a recipient of that information. So whatever you do, use a VPN, and if wherever possible a DVPN, then the risk of a VPN is because it's centralized. It can be hacked. We don't know what they're doing with the data. They could be secretly selling it or giving it away, or they could be spied on, or in the case of Russia, captured by regulations. Where the government says no, 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 no. But with a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer VPN, I suppose a little bit like how Bitcoin is decentralized uh, in the way that Bitcoin is being used to finance the Freedom Convoy in in Ottawa because they can't shut it down; it's permissionless. And also BitTorrent, they've never been able to shut down BitTorrent because it's fully peer-to-peer -peer decentralized. So that's the virtue of a decentralized VPN and the the value of the Sentinel DVPN is it's cheaper and you can earn money. That's coming soon. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so thank you. Anything you want to add about what I've said about VPNs and DVPNs? Yeah, definitely. So, um, besides the thing that you can earn money on DVPN, uh, you can also enjoy uh, the other benefit, which is, which is, I think, insanely great. Uh, so. If you have uh, your own server running somewhere in the data center and uh, you do not use your traffic, uh, like whole traffic that is provided by your internet service provider, you can use and use traffic to provide it to the network in order to get your server or internet connection pay for itself. So basically Sentinel brings you not only profits, but also free internet connection. Yes, yes. I hadn't thought of that. It's got me thinking maybe something I could, I could do perhaps later on down the line once it comes out and it's kind of push button easy to do right but but the other thing is that right now with the android um dvpn application which exidio have launched already is um i can pay for my dvpn connection just with my staking rewards from staking dvpn and people you don't need to have a lot of dvpn in order to get free dvpn yeah, correct. It's uh, it's it's. In fact, uh, Sentinel Network is the VPN marketplace where you can get VPN connection cheaper than anywhere else at the moment because the average price of one gigabyte uh, of data being transferred is uh, as low as less than one cent. So uh, you can you can uh, you cannot find anything like that on any centralized VPN network provider. And uh, besides that, I also would like to mention that there's a not only app for Android, but also an app for iOS already available. So uh, if you go to the App Store and search and look up for Extidio VPN there, you can find uh, an application there already. So uh, you can enjoy decentralized VPN on both platforms. Thank you so much for updating me because things move so quickly. 
uh, in the crypto world. And I know Sentinel have been developing and developing and developing and developing and developing and developing and building and building and building and now rolling out their applications. And, I, and by the way, if you're watching this, I regularly have Dan Edelbeck on my channel talk, giving us an update on what's happening with Sentinel. Uh, okay, so Solar Labs is a core developer of the Sentinel blockchain. And, you know, a bit like Exidio is a core developer of the Sentinel blockchain, which is an open source protocol that anybody can tamper with and build applications on. And right now it's what you're using it for, what is, is the DVPN. Okay, but there's something else that you're doing that Dan mentioned in my last interview with him, which is up on my channel. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching this on Crypto Rich on YouTube, come over to Crypto Rich BTC. That's going to be my main channel that I'm going to be building. My videos go out first on Crypto Rich BTC. And that is because of the censorship of my main channel by YouTube. And please do comment, like, subscribe and all that business. OK, so the uh, you're you're doing something else as Solar Labs. Which, yeah, uh, correct. There is a there is a plenty of things that we're doing as Solar Labs. Oh, okay. so, uh, despite the uh, thing that we are doing the decentralized VPN application, we're trying to take Sentinel on a whole new level and like not only Sentinel, but whole um, Cosmos ecosystem. So uh, what we're doing is we came up with several projects that currently are in, under development and we will be happy to release them to the public soon. Uh, so first of all, we are developing one, one of our great payments system which called solar pay uh this is the great uh, the great possibility for anyone who don't want to uh register on a centralized exchange uh, do kyc and all this stuff and thus uh, just want to enter credit card details and buy some crypto which is uh, available on cosmos ecosystem something like something which is listed on osmosis already for example uh we will be providing such a feature so you will be able to go to this very simple web page enter your credit card details choose any crypto from cosmos ecosystem you would like to buy and get it like within two clicks literally no kyc involved nothing else whoa, 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 whoa. when is that launching uh, we trying to launch it as soon as possible uh at the moment we got our technical part ready and we just um doing all this legal regulation stuff which is required there but uh i really believe that we will be launching it within next month or two wow that's a, how can you do it without kyc uh well uh we, we spent hell a lot of time uh to investigate the possibilities of doing so so um uh, one of those parts that i can uh disclose at the moment is that we are using osmosis under the hood so we letting people to purchase um uh, some crypto which is already well known by uh by regulators for example um mercurio or some other rams like moonpay they are offering you to purchase atom tokens uh using uh, credit card and uh what we are doing is we converting atom tokens that you have purchased with your credit card in the background to any other crypto which is supported by osmosis and all this happens seamlessly under the hood so the end user who are using solar pay would, wouldn't notice it and uh, how we try to avoid having kyc itself with this passport details and all the stuff that uh, other people are asking we uh, we agreed uh, with one of the states uh, where uh, one of our uh, legal entity established that uh, uh, details of credit card is pretty much enough because it's already linked to a legal person so uh, yeah uh, we will try to limit the amount of uh, tokens that you can buy within one single purchase. So basically, uh, the legal limitations for us is we cannot offer you to get ten thousand dollars in DVPN tokens in one purchase. But like, you, if you want to buy some little amount, let's say fifty dollars in DVPN tokens, it, it's fine for us and it's fine for government. So we can we can try to offer that as well. Uh, big role there is played by the great country of El Salvador, where uh, President uh, Nayib Bukele is uh, is. Uh, is lit literally uh he, he's doing dope shit so uh we we catching up on that and we following his lead and uh yeah one of our legal entities is being established in el salvador that is fabulous i did think el salvador i did think you know it's like, can you be el salvador right okay <laughs> that is fabulous okay because that because that furthers decentralization even more okay so that's i could i could go on about solar pay but let's move on <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure. And, there and is do, a let one know, pro- do let me know when Solar Pay get, gets launched, by the way, please. Right? Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got one okay. another great project, which is we're doing along with Exidio. So we developing a router, uh, which is 
will be capable of running a DVPN node in your home without any in, without any complicated setup or installation process. So it's uh, some sort of a device that you can bring home, uh, plug it to the network, use the mobile app to set it up to like set it up your Wi-Fi connection, and that's pretty much it. Afterwards, it will offer you to sell your bandwidth which you didn't use uh, to the network and uh, your home router will become some sort of a, a vpn node which is available on a sentinel marketplace okay so that's amazing so a root so a hardware router that's yeah. just plug and play that will sell spare bandwidth to the network so yeah. just strengthening the network and at the same time will be integrated with a dvpn wallet so i can Collect payments, and it will provide um, a VPN service for household items. Yeah, correct. So basically, all of your items which are at home, you will be able to connect them just to your Wi-Fi network without even installing Sentinel application on the device itself. The router will be the point where your traffic goes encrypted to the DVPN node. Okay. Okay. So, so am I going to need two routers? I, I've got uh, no. One is enough. You can replace your existing one with the with the Sentinel router that we are gonna uh, ship uh, sometime soon. Yeah, and uh, uh, that will be the device which will act as a router itself, and you don't have to have any additional hardware there. Right. Okay. And will okay because how will it do that? Because I've got a router now provided by my ISP, and how will the, I'm not technical, by the way. Just so you're clear, yeah. which is why I'm asking this question. So how will it, you know, what if my ISP were to block the this de, the Sentinel device or something? Sorry, the Solar Labs device. Well, um, the the thing is simple there. Um, it is impossible from an ISP perspective to recognize either it's uh, a router which is Sentinel capable or this is some your computer that you brought home because uh, it, it from ISP perspective they cannot differ it so they cannot ban you from using it what you can do is you can unplug your uh, ISP router and plug ours or you can connect them uh, one to another which will also work okay okay and and no compromise on the speeds well, uh, it depends. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever uh, node, uh, whichever node you're gonna select on Sentinel network, because of course each node which is uh, which is present there and uh, offers you VPN bandwidth have its own capabilities, its own speed, its own configuration, and it really depends on which one you choose. For example, if you're located in, let's say. Uh, France and you're using some node which is in Germany, which is quite nearby, then speed will be quite decent. And uh, from other hand, if you're located in some sort of Australia, let's say, and using a, a VPN node which is located in Canada, that's uh, obviously going to affect your speed con speed of connection. Right. Okay. Okay. And th this is launching, and I know there may be delays and stuff, right? Because there always are delays when you're producing anything. But roughly... Well, uh, roughly, uh, soon. Uh, cannot mention any, <laughs> any exact time frames at the moment, but uh, keep in touch with us and uh, stay tuned to all the Sentinel uh, online presence, Telegram channels, Twitter, uh, Solar Labs, Exidios uh, media resources. Uh, when it will be nearly there, uh, we will announce it uh, publicly and we will roll out uh, the great landing page when you will be able to uh, take a closer look on its features and learn more about that. Right. Okay. And how much will it retail for, roughly? Well, uh, it's still uh, subject for negotiations, and uh, we're still defining the price. But uh, I would like to assure that it will not be much, uh, much more expensive than a regular VPN, uh, that regular router. Sorry. Right. Okay. And then, will people be able to pay with DVPN to purchase? Of course. Them? Of course, uh, we will be happy to offer uh, any sorts of payments there, including. Bitcoin, DVPN tokens, and anything else. Okay. So I could stake my DVPN, put it in a liquidity pool with Osmo, collect DVPN rewards both ways, and then we got liquid staking and, and, and superfluid staking coming up. And then I could use my rewards to purchase a router, and then I can use my rewards to pay for the VPN service and at the same time be earning money. By, by providing bandwidth to the network. Yeah, oh, correct. 
Is, isn't crypto wonderful? <laughs> isn't crypto wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably how we uh, how we should have called our author crypto wonder. Crypto wonder. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, look, I I I'd be very very interested in um in this, and I will. Of course, I follow Sentinel, and I'm in touch with Dan and everything, and I'll have all the links in the description below, so people can comment, ask questions. Have you used the Sentinel? Any of the Sentinel DVPN apps? Are you looking forward to this? You know, what do you think? Um, now. How are you going to get this out? Because it's great for me. I'm in crypto. I recognize VPNs, right? But we want to reach the no-coiners. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. And uh, when we came up with uh, Solar Labs, uh, we decided that our model will be uh, blockchain for people. Uh, we're trying to bring it uh, a little bit down to, to people who are not involved into cryptocurrencies, all this stuff. It does not know much about blockchain. And uh, what we did is uh, uh, we... Uh, we decided that all of our products that we provide to the market will have blockchain under the hood, but the end customer wouldn't know about it. So in the router acts accordingly. Uh, we have our software pretty like uh, user friendly, let's say, and uh, it explains user what can he do while he set up the router and it tells him what he can offer to the network, how does it work, how he can earn rewards and so on. So um, despite the fact that this is a uh, uh, really specific uh, hardware, which is uh, run blockchain software on it, uh, we would like still to be uh, th this device to be a mass market device uh, yes. for 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 anyone who wanna get into crypto, who would like to start going with it, who would like to um, start earning crypto coins without uh, pretty much any investments. Let's say like that. So basically, you just get a router and uh, voila, that's it. Okay, but that's going to take publicity on your part, getting the word out. So, so sorry, come again. That's going to take publicizing that this router is available and getting the word out. Yeah, of course, of course. So, so uh, what do you have for that? Well, um, I probably cannot elaborate on that a little bit for now, but I would be happy to get back to you with this details bit in bit in the future. Okay, well, I look forward. I look forward to that coming out. Uh, now, what about if you're where are you making these routers in China or in Europe or somewhere else? Uh, well, we we got manufacturing in China, of course, uh, because of all the big uh, manufacturers and uh, factories that produce there. Also, it's quite convenient for logistics. Uh, but uh, the the other part of the logistics is happening in Europe. Uh, we we have all the. Uh, for example, all the software development office uh, for uh, our routers is located here in Estonia, in Tallinn. And uh, also we will be shipping from uh, shipping our routers from different points uh, of the world, including US, Europe and uh, China itself, depending where the customer comes from. Right. OK. Because um, I, I, the concern I have is about supply chain disruptions. I mean, do you have any plans to deal with that? Uh, it's uh, it's a uh, I'll, I'll be clear uh, supply chain disruptions that uh, in the, this chip shortage uh, that we have uh, uh, worldwide at the moment uh, it's a pain in the ass literally and it's uh, it affects plans a lot uh, otherwise we would have released uh, this product probably much earlier but uh, gladly I can mention that we solved the problem of uh, some components of the rotor being unavailable for now. And uh, we found a great replacements, uh, but uh, without compromising any features or speed or uh, or performance. So uh, I think that we, we solved that problem pretty much really well. Okay, great. All right, well, I look forward to that coming out. Anything else you want to let us know? Well, uh, I think that would be enough for now. And I'll be great, great to... Uh, speak to you soon when we will be able to announce a little bit more uh, apps and products coming out uh, based on the Cosmos ecosystem. Fabulous, Alexander. That that would be great. And I'd love to have you back on. And please do reach out to me. Don't be shy. Yeah, sure. And uh, anybody who's watching it, I'll have all the links to Solar Labs plus links for Sentinel and Exidio. And do check out my videos, my interviews with uh, Sentinel. Plus also, uh, I'm getting more and more doing more and more videos on Cosmos ecosystem because I just think it's amazing. Um, <clears throat> just, just to let you know, Alexander, I bought some Atom on a whim. 
in um, March 2020. I didn't do any due diligence. Make sure you do your due diligence. Don't do what I did, right? <laughs> and, not a financial advice. It's not financial <laughs> advice, right? <laughs> right. And then I just stay, I was just staking them. And then I heard about Osmo in June last year. And so I got one for one Osmo. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. And I looked at the Osmosis decks. It's a beautiful decks, very easy to use. And of course it's seamless. Of course it's seamless, uh, you know, under the hood of solar pay and stuff. And uh, it's been doing very, very well. And I think this is, uh, I think Cosmos will have a big part to play in Web 3.0 and, you know, the world that we're moving into where I think cryptocurrencies are going to dominate. So uh, I do invite people to check out my Cosmos uh, videos and check out other Cosmos projects. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Alexander signing out. All the best. Bye-bye.